Hey guys, it's me, Moon and Papa, and I'm going to show you the new terminal on 3 commas. The terminal has recently been released in beta mode, which means that it's safe for you to use for trading, and there may still be some improvements to come. The terminal is a granular approach to trading with lots of cool little tweaks that you can add to your trades, as well as building your own custom trade orders and groups and even a scalping interface that you can use your keyboard to trade with. So let me show you what it looks like. The terminal is located just below the dashboard and I'm going to collapse this window so we can get the most out of our view. The terminal is really built for leverage trading. Although you could use it for other trading purposes, it's really designed to be a leverage trading machine. There are lots of different things here to click around, so I'll just start with the top. Just like on Smart Trade, we can choose our account or exchange connection. We can choose which market we want to trade on and which trading pair we want. Since we're using this for futures, I'm going to go ahead and choose F Perp, which is the Ethereum perpetual contract on FTX. Over here, we have two buttons to switch between a basic view, which is just showing us the chart, the terminal interface for trading, and the um, leverage window, so we can decide what kind of leverage we want to use, as well as any positions or open orders we have. Pro adds a couple more features, one of which is the order book and also the scalper tool down here. I'll show you that in a little bit. If you want to customize your layout, you can choose to hide things if you don't want to see them. And you can also click and move and drag things around so that way it performs the way that you want it to. You can also resize any of these windows, which is cool. And if you decide that ah, I don't really like this anymore, you can just reset the layout and it'll go back to the default setting. Over here is the terminal. If we go here, we can uncheck the terminal to hide it or show it, but we definitely want to look at it. The terminal is, like I said, just the same as it is on Smart Trade, except we have um, less options in a sense. And the main difference between the um, between the terminal and Smart Trade is that terminal has um, no stop loss and no take profit built in. It's set up in such a way for you to make decisions based on um, your futures positions. And this is a really convoluted way to say it allows you to place your orders and close them or build upon them or customize them in any way you want. So the the top part is pretty easy to understand. There's the market and the limit side of placing your orders. Of course, with a limit, you're going to have a trigger price and then an order price. There's also this switch for conditional. The conditional orders on three commas are just like using a stop limit order if you were to trade on an exchange. And what it simply means is that this conditional price, whatever you decide it to be, is a trigger. So when the actual price on the chart hits this, then it's going to place your order on the order book with a limit order, or it's going to buy it right away with a market order. These conditional orders are going to come in handy, so just keep it in the back of your mind as I keep walking you through this. So we'll leave conditional on for now. Our trigger price is going to be determined whether the price is here at 627.97 or when the ask, which is over here on the red side of the order book, hits this price or shows this price or the bid side of the order book shows this price. There are uses for this, but we're not going to get into it right now, but I'll let your mind start to come up with some ideas. Since we're using a limit order, we have a trigger price and our order price is going to be different. So let's say that we want our limit price to be here, even though our trigger price is here. We can set our limit price to be anything, but note that once our conditional trigger price is hit, and if our limit price is above our trigger price, it's going to buy it right away. So in lots of cases, the market order will be better for conditional. So what will happen is, even though the price is at 627.97, I can actually say I want my buy order to be up here at 640, as you can see on the chart. 
This is going to allow me to place an order up here expecting a breakout to the upside, even though the price is down here. Now I get to choose how much of my portfolio I want to use. Note that this is all with leverage. So the maximum I could use is down here. I do not recommend using the maximum amount of your account, especially if you're testing this out. Just test it out with a little bit. I mean, there's, there's no real reason to even go crazy with this. So you could even run the, the lowest minimum size. So that way you can get comfortable with how this works. And I believe the lowest minimum order size is $10 um, after leverage. Next, we can choose to do a couple of things. We can do a trailing order. We could use this with our entry price, which would be like a trailing buy. The timeout acts the same way as the stop loss timeout does in Smart Trade, except now it's here in Terminal. So we can decide how many seconds we want to wait until the order proceeds. So it's kind of a safeguard against um, little spikes and uh, wicks like this, so that way you don't get stopped out prematurely. The reason why we don't see reduce only in smart trade when we're using futures markets for trading is because smart trade does this automatically in the background. You don't know it's happening. Essentially, what a reduced order is, is it's taking whatever's been leveraged, that position, and then when you take profit or your stop loss hits, that is a reduce only order. Instead of adding more to your order, which if we're thinking about how smart trade works, that would be placing like another add funds order. So that would be adding on to the volume of the order. Whereas once the price falls or rises and hits our stop loss or our take profit, that would be a reduce only order. It's different than a short order. And the reason is because you wanna close your position. And the only way to close a long position is to reduce it. So I'll show you that in a second. So here's reduce order, it's checked. Now, if I were to set up my entry, I don't wanna use a reduce order to start my trade. And the reason is because nothing's gonna really happen. There's nothing to reduce. I don't have any eth perp to reduce, to, to get rid of, to offload. But as soon as I begin an order with a long order or a short order, then the reduce order is gonna come in handy to close the position. Let me switch over to my Binance account to show something real quick. You'll notice here that the leverage section is different than it was on FTX. Here on Binance, I'm able to switch between cross leverage and isolated leverage. The difference between the two is that cross is going to use all of the funds in your account in case the price continues to fall. Whereas isolated, in my opinion, is much safer to use. So if you have the option to use isolated, I suggest using isolated. If you are, consider yourself an advanced or pro trader and you know how to use cross leverage, then I'll let you make your own decisions. Down here, we have the option to click around if we want to select our leverage, or we can just simply type in a random number of leverage and then we can set it. And now that I've clicked set leverage, my leverage has been set to isolated and times 13. So this is an open position I already had. And because I've changed and updated the leverage here in the terminal, it's updated all of the positions that I have open right now to 13 times leverage. I'm glad I didn't click something like 50 because then I would be a little bit more upset. Um, but even though it did change my leverage um, from 5X to 13X, I'm still in a profit. So now I just need to make sure that I have a reduce only order or if I so choose to, I can decide, you know what, let's just close this order with a market order. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this because I don't want anything to happen to this <laughs> while I'm filming. All right, so my position has been closed and it's not gonna be here in open positions anymore. It's going to be here in trades history. Without any open orders left, I can set it back to five times leverage because now this is the minimum leverage. Let me explain what just happened. I had an existing order open at five times leverage. When I updated the leverage by typing in 13 and hit set leverage, that made the base leverage of all my orders from now on to 13 times until the existing order closes. Now that it's closed, I can set the leverage to whatever I want. So I'm gonna keep it back down to five times because that's what I got running. 
and let's go back to the terminal. Next up on the tour is the scalper. This is an advanced tool and there is a pop-up window with lots of information to explain why it is. This little box right here is very powerful, but also highly risky, especially because there's an option here for keyboard controls. You can use your keyboard to place orders for longs, shorts, to reverse your position, which will essentially switch your position and to close it at market price, which would be a reduced order of whatever's there. I don't recommend jumping into this and just starting to type on your keyboard to go crazy. Um, you'd want to, this, this is something that would be a higher level um, tool to use. So I don't recommend everyone and anyone to start using this and experimenting with it. Um, it can, it can be, um, if you don't know what you're doing, you could liquid, you could liquidate your account very quickly. So again, this is an advanced option and I'm not recommending anyone and everyone to use it. Only people that know how to scalp, they have a set strategy with set rules that they always follow. Then they could use something like this with great results. We have the order book, which is next. And just like in Smart Trade, the order book is great because we can click anywhere in the order book to update our order price. Of course, we can switch between our bid orders and our ask orders, or we can view both of them. The trading view window is nothing new, of course. Our trading view window shows us what we are looking at and what ticker, and we can choose the time frame. We can add different tools here to uh, modify the chart. So I'm going to go to my FTX exchange to show you an order that I have on the books to show you one way that you could use the terminal to create an advanced order. So we are looking at Ethereum on the perpetual market, and I'm going to use this as a as an example for a breakout, we'll say. So we can see here that the price tried to break out of the overhead trend. So this trend is down. I'm thinking that the price is going to recover and move higher. And if that's what I think, then I'm gonna go ahead and build an order and show you one way to do it. I'm gonna place an order here to start at 641.22, because I like odd and strange numbers. I'm going to choose how much I want to put into this, and I'm going to choose the bare minimum because I don't want to risk a lot of funds. And this is going to be a long order. Notice that conditional is checked. I'm going to make sure that this is using uh, five times leverage. I'm going to go ahead and set my leverage. So I have cross, which is my only option, and it's set to five times. This is very important. Sorry, I had to, because I changed my leverage, it changed the amount. I need to make sure that I remember. 0.016 because the amount, the units rather, of eth perp is going to be very important as I place these orders. So I want to place my order here expecting a breakout to the top side. Now whether or not this is going to happen, I'm just building up a hypothetical trade. So here is my buy order. It's waiting to be filled and it's a conditional market, meaning that once the price hits this, then it's going to start my trade. Now I need to decide where I want to take profit. I'm going to go ahead and use this nice tool from TradingView, which is going to show me my long position. So I want to make this a little bit bigger, and now it's time to do some decision making. I'm expecting a move to the upside here. I'm not going to try to sell at the top. I'm going to try to sell uh, to, to somewhere like around here. This looks fine. Again, I'm just eyeing it. This is not proper TA. There would be a lot more work that has to go into this trade setup. but this is what I'm doing for you guys, so you can see. So I wanna make sure that I have a good ratio. You'll notice the ratio on the inside. Uh, we don't want anything over one. That would not be good. It'd be better even to go to two. So this is a very tight range and it's a risky setup for a trade, but again, this is just for an example. So now that I have this set up, this is going to be helpful because now I have my two prices. I have 660 and 632. Now I need to set up my reduce orders. Again, for that same amount, except now I want the price to be 660. And I'm selling the same amount of units that I'm, I have on order to buy up here. And now it's a reduce order. And now instead of a long order, 
I'm going to choose short because this short order is going to close my position. And that's what will show up here in the open orders. Now I need to set up my stop loss. So my stop loss is going to be at 632. It's again going to be the same amount of units because I don't want anything left and I'm going to click short. Yes, you can set up both. This is what you're seeing, actually right now, I should say, what you're seeing is essentially what Smart Trade is doing on the back end, except now you're able to build your own custom orders. Now, one thing you'll notice that I don't have the position open yet, even though the price is lower. And the cool thing is that here in my open orders, now I have this option for group. You can have up to four groups meaning that once I put all of these in the same group, that means that these sell orders, these reduce only orders are tied to this. Why is this cool? Well, it's cool because what if I think the opposite may happen? What if I want to go ahead and put out a short position? Assuming that the price is gonna come up, but what if the short, and I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. What if my short position is going to, what if I think the price is going to come up, but it's not going to go far enough the next time. And I think it's going to get rejected again. Then I can build another order. So now I can take this and I can do the inversion of what I have. So what this means is that if the price goes up higher and it continues going up, it's going to trigger this buy order and it's going to either go up to hit this take profit or the stop loss. But as soon as this happens, because it's all in group one, the group one orders will all start together. That means I can build out a group two order set. So this is a cool idea to use for a breakout strategy. If you think the price is congested like this and you think it's going to go to the upside, so you can decide you can place your buy order here or your sell order here. And you could actually have done both. So the price would have fallen out of this range that's tightening up. You would sell, buy, and then that order is closed. And then when it comes back up, buy, sell. One thing I will say about the terminal is that not only is it powerful, it is a little bit complex. So you want to make sure that you know what you're doing before you're starting to place these orders around. Make sure to make good use of that group setting so that way your orders, once they get started, they will cancel any other, op any other open orders that you've placed. So that way there's no confusion of funds and that way there are no um, issues with you holding any perpetual tokens, whether in a long or a short position. Again, there's no rush to use your entire account with the terminal. Learn how it works first. Come up with a couple of strategies that will be effective for you come up with some good rules that will help you to make good decisions about the trades that you will make and enjoy the terminal from three commas.